feel at one hand already and I have done one stroke with my left hand that was a big struggle actually guys but I'm happy how it turned out first time ever painting one stroke with my left hand now we are going to rebalance them so first of all like we need to clip off those gems and as you can see it guys like I mean those nails are quite nicely grown out and the, the gems still stays on and they actually nightmare to take off uh, usually I like to use the clippers um, because that's the quickest and the easiest way to remove those crystals because they're strongly encapsulated like I have showed you in the video uh, how I'm placing them uh, so they kind of support one each other um, because this way they are harder to come off so now I'm just clipping them off and also some of you guys asked me a question why my crystals falling out so see here I have managed to separate the crystals from the foils if the crystals comes off like in full that's mean your product wasn't strong enough if the crystals comes off like this that's mean the actual crystal wasn't strong enough mm, so depending what is the issue then you'll try to fix the solution but the, the the way I'm securing them with the base gel then running through around them and then supporting uh, larger crystals with the smaller crystals make a really uh, huge difference in the uh, lasting time of the crystals like really absolutely amazing difference Sometimes if the crystals will be too harsh to come off with the cuticle nippers, you could e-file them, but that's usually damage the beads quite strongly, so I do not recommend it. Uh, I would use an old, um, old bead to do so. Okay, the last few. I think that's the strongest attached crystals ever. Okay, I'm going to file the rest of it uh, because I cannot catch it with the nippers. Sorry, cameraman. I need to keep it at the right angle so I don't hurt myself. Okay, yay, finally. So the next step is to use the dust collector and then we are going to file the nail. So that's the dust collector I'm using and then the safety bit to remove the old product. Okay, and then the, with the e-file, let's remove the product. So I'm thinning out always the free edge because I don't want it to be thick and when we shorten the nails they become kind of thicker. You can see it, we can remove the remainings from the crystals with the e-file as well. I'm usually trying to remove the product quite even. I'm a bit too low with my chair at the moment, so I cannot kind of twist my hand the way I should it, but let me show you. It's okay, cameraman. He's searching probably for a pillow. Oh, he does. Let's jump in higher. And <laughs> there we are. That's much comfier. Thank you. So this way I can twist my hands a little bit better. 
okay I would inspect them so here I've got still tiny bit of the old product there's actually no lifting on them so I don't have to worry about removing any lifting and I will file away those crystals here because during the crystals removal I have actually picked it at my cuticles so um, it's better to file them watch your eyes when you're doing those kind of uh, filing of the crystals And I've got tiny bit of lifting in that corner here. Okay, I will try to clip off this old crystal. To see if it will work. Again, quite careful because it, my hand did jump and I have catch my cuticle quite strong. They are really stubborn. Got it. Okay, I managed to get it. What you can see it also here, I think this is pretty important to show you, is that you've got the place after the crystals and then there is a raised base and a top coat around it so that also shows you how I'm securing the crystals okay let's prep this new check this side because that's where I had the lifting Fantastic. So our next step is to shorten the nails. And the reason why I'm wearing shorter nails, guys, is because we have been doing lots of like uh, projects in the house. So I have wrecked them quite a lot. So I'm just filing them shorter. And as we file the nails shorter, you can see it how thick they are. So again, I need to thin this out. Okay. Do it the same on this one. Short it nice and decent amount. And thin out the free edge. I've got actually quite messy cuticles. Um, so I will be able to show you how I'm tidy up them as well because obviously the more DIY projects we've got the more neglected the entire nails become <laughs> okay happy with the thin free edge I can even get rid of this dust collector because the biggest uh, job with it is done so the next step is to take the cuticle pusher and push back my cuticles I'm just going to push them back and then you can also see it like how big the growth is so the cuticles are pushed back then I'm going to grab the cuticle bit and we've got some quite nice cuticle bit sets and I need to actually put them up on the websites for you guys as a set of like different different ones uh, so the e-file is on the medium speed and first of all i'm going to clean up all the one side like and in this part i've got lots of like a cuticle which grows into my nail plate you can see it there is a really lots of it and if i don't remove this part my nail will lift in this uh, place so first of all cleaning everything from the nail plate only so i'm not cleaning my nail folds only what i've got on my nail plate Put it back to the reverse and then clean the other side. Never force this part of the mm, new treatments. Like you want to be very gentle with it. 
I also at the same time like I feel it like the less cuticle work I do it the slower they grow back and the nicer they are to be honest but recently because I have been not applying cuticle oil the way I should I've got quite a lot of cuticles growing Keep cleaning once sometimes just so you see it where you are and so you don't remove the stuff you shouldn't. Okay, this part is nicely done. I'm quite happy how my new plate looks. Just searching single bits and pieces. And then we can take a um, cuticle nipper. I've got actually quite bad one, I need to get a new one. And then remove only uh, the tissue which is a not living tissue. So I kind of like to go like this and make sure I do remove only the part which is loose. So go like this and then clip it. Go like this, clip it. I'm also pulling it down at the time when I'm kind of releasing the cuticle nippers so it's it gets away. And you can see it, we have removed a nice and decent piece which we could cook the soup on it actually. This is so much cuticles. I, I actually normally don't have as bad cuticles and I think you see me guys first time uh, doing so so much work on them because I never had as much. Okay, again, get those nice sweet point. And then get rid of it. Next one. Now this nail I need to be always very careful um, with because that's the nails which got not as much actually and here is very easy to catch the living tissue. So a little bit less than on the previous one. And that's it. Don't be tempted to remove any more. And this one is actually quite good. So again, I don't want to remove too much. Uh, what else you can do it at the end of uh, removal of the cuticle? You can take your bead and you can just gently uh, file uh, your nail folds, but very gentle, like exfoliation of the nail folds. Okay, so just a little bit. Obviously, I might not do the cuticle on my thumb because I have catched it really badly. Actually, cameraman, uh, yesterday we was uh, cutting the last piece of the wood for a kicking board for the kitchen. And the board actually went down on his toe, the second toe. It's so swollen, so black and, and I hope it is not going to come off. So when there is any injury, we should avoid any kind of hard work. Now I'm just filing the nail folds a little bit, just like a very tiny wee bit. Here maybe a little bit more because there is something there. Okay, and that's me happy because at the time of uh, doing the shape of the nail, uh, we are gonna file our nail folds a little bit. I mean, at least I do it with the buffer. And I actually love it, like so when I'm blending everything around the cuticle area, I might even with this buffer kind of go like this, you know, on my nail folds. Uh, and it's absolutely fine and it works the same like an e-file bit really. Uh, so I, I do really like to do that. Anyway, so the cuticles are clean. The next step is we need to blend like all those old product with the natural nail. Plus we need to give it a couple scratches to the natural nail as well. So I'm just blending it out like this and I like to work with the rounded part of the file going to the top and then coming down the way and kind of brushing away what I have filed okay make sure it's all blended you can also take a corner of your file and just go like this so at the same time you're pushing back your cuticles and you're preparing your natural nails to be uh, an, um, really nicely scratched for a fresh fresh product okay just the same go up Give a couple scratches to the natural nail. Then file it down the way. 
sorry, cameraman. <laughs> it's just so... Next one. So in general, when I'm doing a rebalance, like an, it's a standard rebalance, I do book a client for an hour and a half. And that's actually quite a lot of time to be able to do a nice rebalance on the nails. Look at what else I'm doing is I'm kind of shaping the nails a little bit. So I've got less filing later on when we apply the product. And the next one. Obviously, once we do this rebalance and the cuticle work, you will have to join us in for the next video to see how I'm painting and doing this pretty, pretty set. But I wanted to give you like a very detailed in a lifetime as well, because I, I think, you know, sometimes uh, people are stressed, like, oh gosh, how, how long I'm going to take for it. Uh, so I wanted to show you, like, I do take some decent time with the uh, needles myself as well. And this is absolutely normal. And I think it's better to do things like really precise and, and uh, the way they should be, rather than trying to cut the time and then skip maybe some steps. Okay, so that is all nicely clean. Let's grab the blue scrap, dehydrate the nail plate, nice and squeaky clean, like remove any dust particles. And then use an extra nail prep. So extra nail prep is a nail dehydrator as well just in the form of the, um, of the brush. And I quite like to dehydrate twice. For those of you guys who have very problematic nails, you dehydrate before you start filing and then you dehydrate after filing as well, just so you don't bring those oils back into the nails uh, with your file when you're actually doing the prep. Um, this is a really nice life-changing hack for those of you who've got very oily nails and it makes an unbelievable difference. Um, so now universal air bond, like make sure it's applied everywhere. And then we are going to grab, of course, Perfect Rose gel to do those rebalance. Now I will show you the quickest way of, of doing the rebalance. So when the nails are quite nicely prepped, they actually look quite good even the way they are now. What you have to do it is just pick up a small scoop of the product, peel the nail folds down, remove the scoop from, the, from your brush so your brush is nice and clean. This way you can go really nice and high. Look what my brush is going to the side. Cut up those free edge everywhere. Nice and thin, nice and thin. Cut those free edge. Leave it. Go to the next nail. And the reason for it is you don't want to have... Let me just clean this dust off. Um, so you don't want to have too much product which could float your cuticles. That's why I'm just doing a very nice and thin layer. Also, this thin layer helps your gel to spread better so you don't have to do so much work with it. Like you kind of just slap the ball and, and the gel is going to do work for you. Now, I have cleaned my brush because I had some dust particle. Just a dry wipe. You don't need any product in there. Do the next one. At the same time, I'm controlling like how my um, how my gel behaves. So depending on the temperatures, you know, sometimes I can do all five nails. Sometimes I can do only two nails. Uh, you have to uh, pick up your sweet point. Now we're picking up another scoop of the product and we're filling up the apex area. Don't go too close to the cuticle because the product will run in there on its own. Just fill up those empty space, little presses, and then as you go at the free edge, you press harder because you want to smooth this area. Okay, do the same with the next nail. At the same time, keep observing your first nail just so it doesn't start to run. I can see the gel is really nice and runny, so I wouldn't be able to do more than two nails. So press it harder, and this one is filled in as well. Now it's a time to cook them in. You don't have to cure it fully. It's enough when you cure it like uh, 10 seconds uh, just to freeze the product enough so it is not going to run. Okay, in the meantime, I'm just picking up another scoop of the product, and then we are going to repeat this process. 
so nice and thin layer nice and thin layer straight away what I've got left on the brush is going to fill up my growth area on the pinky needle because I don't need much like there wasn't as much product in there press it harder and then tiny wee drop of the product in this area so if your needles are intact there is no point of removing uh, any more than we need to and then you have to just place like a tiny bit of product back into those missing places and basically that's it so that's that's how they look nice and thin uh, nicely felt and now I can give them a final 60 seconds cure and then I show you how to file them okay a couple seconds longer grab some UV cleanser so we can remove the inhibition layer because always like a 1% of the gel never uh, never cures so remove this inhibition layer to be honest they actually look not bad uh, obviously I will do the thumb on my own this is actually start already healing as well accidents happen sometimes uh, grab the um, tissue and then let's shape them so when I'm shaping those needles this is gonna be oh it's neither a tapered square neither a coffin it's a kind of in between I just don't like my needles to be too square uh, but they are a little bit too short for a proper coffin shape um, so I'm just kind of doing in between um, we need to remove the bulk again from the free edge just like this blend everything at the cuticle area because you don't want to see the growth later on like we didn't see it with the previous set nice and straight file and then smooth everything out just like this. I like doing this movement because it gives a overall really nice results uh, on the nails. So now I'm kind of doing on a client view. Um, and then in this position I'm doing a nail tech view. So I like to file my nails in, in both directions because uh, you cannot see it things uh, on the client view which you would see it as a nail technician view. Uh, so this is a nice tip for you guys as well. Again, thin out those free edge. You don't want overly too much product in there. And uh, also filing this way is, is quite good as well because you rather really guys to break the nail off if, if you bang somewhere so wrong than to leave the nail plate from the nail bed because that's what I did with this nail. Um, so uh, it can be pretty sore. I would rather actually to break this nail um, and unfortunately it didn't break <laughs> this one is actually quite nice as well so I'm just gonna leave it guys this was such a quick uh, rebalance actually um, and the nails have been on actually quite a long time because I usually wear my nails like about four weeks you know sometimes if we have no time unfortunately I have to push it even like six seven weeks uh, uh, but I do not recommend it that because that's when the issues with the nails can start now this one is a bit bulky so again we need to do it those sort of movement on both sides just to make it nicer and prettier Bend everything around the cuticle area and then we can clean the dust take a breath take a buffer and just buff the entire set buffing entire set uh, might sometimes show some imperfections now when I'm buffing also try to direct the needle down the way don't do it this way because you can catch it and like you could really if you're doing it so strong and fast uh, you could probably uh, cause some damage or even break a needle now I like to blend this area extremely well so you cannot even see it where the product is starting. Uh, my gel is flying everywhere. Okay, and this new look really nice and decent. Let's do it the same with this one. Again, the shorter the natural, uh, the shorter the nails, uh, the less product you want on it as well. Uh, the longer they are, the, the stronger, the higher the apex needs to be, and the thicker the entire uh, product should be applied. So I'm going for a very, in my opinion, like very short, um, 
short nails and I'm probably gonna stick with those kind of length guys for those of you who want to see it those shorter nail extensions or kind of normal medium length uh, I'm gonna to stick probably with this length the entire summer uh, because we we are gonna be really busy with uh, lots of work decoration painting moving uh, the salon as well um, so I better off have them a bit shorter for such as active period as well and obviously we want to do some trips on the motorbikes as well so uh, you kind of need to have them nice and comfy uh, for that this is good and yeah that's the last one. Oh no that was too short video I want to stay longer with you guys but uh, no I'm just going to bath quickly this nail do the thumb on my own uh, so it has actually it's it start healing really nice and quick and then I will see you in the next video uh, and I show you how we are going to decorate those nails uh, and I hope you will be all in there and also I hope you have find it, this one very useful um, now let me just talk about those blending here as well because I think it's crucial uh, so if your nails are blended like this way where you cannot see where the product is starting that's mean they have no catchy places and the clients which are a picky clients they wouldn't like catch it and also your growth wouldn't be visible so this is a big game changer like and this like you really cannot see it like I, I cannot see it, so that's me, you cannot see it as well. Okay, we both sending you huge glittery hacks, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we will be doing those pretty set. Bye!